This is the Emergency Medical Minute. So I saw a patient that uh, was 30 years old, G1, P0, no known medical prob problems, was about 38 weeks pregnant, and came in with stroke-like symptoms with some paresthesias on the side of her face and some difficulty speaking. It was improved by the time she got here, not resolved, no real headache, no other uh, abnormalities or vital signs were good. Um, and in the end, the ultimate diagnosis is something called CADASIL, which uh, I wasn't very familiar with, so I'll explain it. It's, a, uh, it's an acronym, C-A-D-I-S-I-L, and uh, it stands for um, Cerebral Autosomal Dominant Arteriopathy uh, with subcortical infarcts and leukoencephalopathy. So it's a um, genetic uh, disease that's inherited. Um, it's an angiopathy caused by a mutation on the uh, 19 chromosome, the notch 3 gene on the 19th chromosome. It's an important cause of stroke in young patients. Uh, it can cause stroke. It's known for causing cognitive impairment as well. The things that we used to call hereditary multi-infarct dementia as well as chronic familial vascular encephalopathy are probably all in the same family. Uh, it basically causes vasculopathic changes in the uh, small penetrating arteries in the brain, um, and it causes a vascular lesion that's non-atherosclerotic, and it's uh, uh, not an uh, amyloid deposit either. Happens in about 1 in 100,000 people, so it's not all that rare. Occurs occurs worldwide. Uh, its clinical features are uh, you can have uh, ischemic episodes like strokes, um, cognitive deficits, uh, migraine with auras common with it, psychiatric disturbances, and less commonly coma and seizures. Um, a lot of times a migraine with aura is the first presenting um, symptom, and it happens in about half of the patients with this, and it usually happens about age 30. 85% um, will have a stroke, and the median age for that is uh, 51 to 53 years, uh, and 75% develop some kind of cognitive deficit like dementia. Uh, you diagnose it with MRI, there's some uh, clinical, there's some changes that are uh, um, uh, uh, very clear for it. They see some small circumscribed lesions that look like lacunar infarcts and some changes in the subcortical white matter. Uh, and, and it's actually known for having worsening symptoms during pregnancy. About 48% of patients with this will have some kind of symptoms with it during pregnancy. You can actually screen for it with genetic testing, and this patient uh, ha had a family member with it and opted not to do it because she didn't want to know. Um, uh, and we found out after she had symptoms, and there's really no specific treatment. You just kind of uh, uh, do normal stroke prevention things, uh, lifestyle changes, statins, uh, uh, blood pressure reduction, things like that. So something that I wasn't really familiar with, but is not that uncommon. Emergency Medical Minute is and always will be about free medical education. Medicine's most prolific podcast is successful because of our supporters, donors, and of course, our listeners. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you support spreading free medical education, please donate at our website, emergencymedicalminute.com. As always, keep listening.